Hey guys, it's Dave, and today I'm going to be opening the Legion of Collectors box for November. The Batman Villains. I know I'm really late with this box. We had a busy November with the Thanksgiving holiday, and then we went on our annual uh, Disney trip. So finally catching up on a lot of stuff, and I know I'm way behind. Uh, so let's get into this and check it out. Now, just to give you guys a heads up of future uh, boxes that are going to be happening on this channel, my Smuggler's Bounty is done. I will not be getting any of those for the foreseeable future. I have two Marvel Collector Core boxes remaining and one more Legion of Collectors. After those two, the order renews have already been stopped, so I will not be getting any more of the Funko-powered uh, subscription boxes. Uh, other subscription boxes, Horror Block slash Nerd Block, I have two remaining in my subscription, then that will be canceled. And as of now, the only subscription boxes I will be getting on this channel are the BAM box, our T blocks for Lauren, and the WWE Slam Crate uh, powered by Loot Crate. Kind of really lost interest in the last couple of months. Um, and now that they're going to be announcing the pop in advance, because I guess sales are down, to me it just seems like a waste. I really got it for the surprise of the pop, and the pops haven't been that great anyway. Uh, so I kind of just wanted to save the money and be done with them. So these boxes will slowly, as the months go on, as going into the new year, will slowly start to die out. And that's that. Uh, so let's get into this one and check it out. I haven't heard great things. Let's see how it is. So first, like always, we have the patch and the pin. The pin is, it's got the Riddler on it. It says Riddler. There you go, if you can see that. The Riddler on the pin. And then we have the patch, which is Bane. Bane's mask, and it says Legion of Collectors. There's that. Okay, let's move forward. The box inside is pretty cool. It's got all the the uh, Batman villains. You got Harley Quinn, Penguin, uh, Catwoman, Riddler, Joker, um, Poison Ivy. Really just the basics. They don't have any of, like, it doesn't look like they have any of the, you know, real... Um, you know, I don't see Scarecrow, I don't see the Mad Hatter, I don't see Killer Croc or uh, Man Bat or any of those, you know, more rare characters. But let's get into this. Alright, so this is the card. I will wait for that. We have a comic, and it's uh, Batman uh, with Riddler written over it. Riddler number one, Legion of Collectors. It's got the uh, pop art on it. There you go. There it is, and up close. Okay, so we got a comic. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the comic. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, right off the bat, there is no shirt. That's a bummer. Um, let's get into this first. I could see why this probably got a lot of hate out there in the community. We have a DC Comics Legion of Collectors exclusive. It is a Dorbs of Two-Face. So we have a Dorbs uh, Two-Face. Now I'm not a full hater on the Dorbs. I kind of do like some of the Dorbs. This one looks pretty cool. Okay, so that's not so bad. Um, the colors just seem a little different. I always thought, you know, if I remember correctly, wasn't Two-Face always like either... I don't remember being green. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm forgetting. There's a close of the Dorbs, the Legion of Collectors exclusive. I can see some people hating on that. All right. Uh, oh, man. Next up, I see another mug. And it is the Joker. It is the Joker from the Pop Home line. It's a mug. If you watched my last episode of my Marvel Collector Core for Doctor Strange, I kind of was bummed out about the mug. Kind of that was kind of my finalized moment of realizing that I'm done with these. And this might be the same. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the Joker, one of my favorite, probably my favorite DC uh, villain. This looks like the pop of it. Not a bad mug. I don't mind it. Um, it's just. This is not what I got these boxes for. 
you know, I didn't get the boxes for the mugs and the other item that's coming soon, or the door. It was like, really, the shirt and the pop is what people want these for. That's all. That's the thing that Funko seems to have forgotten. The only reason we get these boxes are for the shirts and what everybody envisioned was going to be an exclusive Funko Pop that you can only get in this. What they've been doing lately is putting in pops of just different angles of people. Like Bubba Fett was in a Star Wars mode. There's 50 billion Bubba Fett out there, but they give us a different one. You know, Darth Vader we had in another one. Uh, you know, we get a different Doctor Strange in the Marvel Collector Core. Uh, we get, you know, it's just we want ones that are... Like I'll tell you right now, seeing the pop in here, I was hoping for a different mold. Like a maybe a, a Mr. Freeze or a Bane or a you know, just some a rare one like a Mad Hatter or just someone out there that's different. But no. You know, we'll get into it, but there's the mug up close. I mean, I like the design. I'm a huge Joker fan, but again, these mugs are getting a little ridiculous. I mean look at the back, the paint isn't even look at it. it's dark and then light. Okay, well, there's that, the mug. Next up, and I know my buddy Jason over at Tracy's Basement must have loved this. It's a hat. It is another Funko hat, which I don't, I mean, I like the design of them. I will never wear them. Uh, one, I don't wear hats with brims like this, as you can tell. Um, and these are hard to bend. They kind of like feel like they're going to break, so I don't bend them. It's got the Joker on it. It's got his uh, pop face, same as on the mug. It says, ha, ha, ha. On the back, it's got like a deck of like a couple cards and has the J for Joker. Um, you know, the gray and purple look cool. I like that color scheme. Uh, but again, this is just a hat that I'm never going to wear. Um, I'll probably just give it to Lauren. Uh, that's what I do with a lot of this stuff that I don't want in these boxes. I give them to Lauren and Ashley. Uh, but I mean, if I didn't have kids, what, what the hell would I do with this? I guess sell it. But there is the hat. Again, I love the Joker. I just don't like the brims on these. Look at that. I like to bend them, and you can't bend these, otherwise you, you break it. And I'm not a, the biggest fan of uh, snapbacks either. So there's the hat. All right, moving along, we'll get into the pop. Get the box out of here. Now the pop is a DC uh, Legion of Collectors exclusive. It's uh, number 136 in the DC Superheroes line. It is Catwoman. And there you go. I'll show you up close. There it is, Catwoman. Aren't there Catwoman pops out there? I know I don't own any, so this is actually my first Catwoman pop. But don't they have so many out there already? Like, why couldn't we get somebody new? That's my issue. And I don't even particularly like this one, the way it looks. I don't really like this version of Catwoman, to be honest with you. I don't, honestly, I don't even know where this version of Catwoman is from. Maybe someone could tell me in the comment section. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, there's the pop. Not particularly too fond of it. It is what it is. The pop. So, to recap real quick, we have the uh, DC Legion of Collectors Core exclusive uh, Dorbs of Two-Face. We have the mug of the Joker. Okay. We have the Batman Riddler number one comic. There you go. We've got the Joker hat. Maybe I'll mail it over to Jason. Okay, here you go. Merry Christmas. Uh, we got the uh, Bane patch. There you go. And we got the pin. Let me just open this up. Of the Riddler. Okay. And then, of course, we have the Catwoman pop. So, overall, the... The pop doesn't even stand. Look at that. She doesn't even stand. The legs are uneven. Oh my god. She doesn't stand. Ha! Look at that. The legs, if you could tell, are uneven. So she doesn't stand. Awesome. The quantity of the stuff isn't bad. Um, you got uh, three, four, five, six, seven items. You got seven items. Um, but the sad thing is, is that I'm not crazy about any of the items. Uh, I don't care about the comic. The patching pin or what they are, they're just little fillers. And I, I do like them, but you know that's not why you get this box. 
Not particularly too fond of the pop. I don't like the hat, but I'll give it to Lauren. She might like it. Uh, the mug is okay, but again, I don't know what to do with these mugs anymore. I have too many of them. All of them come from these Funko boxes. And then we have the Dorbs. And again, the Dorbs also, every one I own, I've gotten from this bo these boxes, except for one. I bought an Ursula one because I'm a huge Ursula fan. Uh, so, not a great box. Um, I am happy that I've made my decision of stopping my Funko powered uh, subscription boxes. Uh, this proves my point. I was hoping for a really awesome shirt with some villains on it. Um, no go. All right. Uh, next the time in January, uh, the theme is DC Legacy. Uh, that will be my last box. Cover you the show on um, Batman, Green Arrow, and Plastic Man. I would like to see a cool Plastic Man item. I remember the cartoon back in, I think it was like the 80s. So that's next month's if you're interested in that. I'm sure if you uh, follow them on social media, uh, they will probably share what pop they're going to send out. I'm not following any of them anymore on social media. One, for the last couple boxes I'm getting, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to have this, the, the spoiler of knowing what pop is in it. I understand why they're doing that as a business. They're probably lost a lot of subscriptions with these boxes over the last couple of months. Um, the Marvel Collector Core, when I'm done, that be two full years I did that, and I went from these being my favorite boxes, praising them, to the point where now I just don't care. Um, like I said, this I've had sitting here for weeks, finally got around to doing it, not particularly too fond of it. Smuggler's Bounties, I was getting kind of bummed out on, and I canceled that. And uh, we'll see what happens moving forward. But let me know what you thought of this video, of my review of these items. Let me know if you got it. Let me know what you thought of this box. Um, I can't see this going being too popular with the community, especially a lot of the people I know, especially with the hat and the mug right off the bat. And I know a lot of people hate the Dorbs. I'm not a huge Dorb hater, uh, but I don't get this box for Dorbs. And I don't remember, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember Two-Face ever having a green face. I always thought it was like purple, or like in the movie he was all like burnt and charred. Uh, but let me know what you thought. Leave your comments below. Remember, guys, hit up that red subscribe button. That'll give you notifications of all of our videos. It'll also help us grow. We greatly appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at EverydayGeekTV. Thanks, guys. Adios.